Hey guys, this is Carp from CQB Radio with another cardboard box review. Today we're looking at the KWA Full Metal KM4A1 Carbine. I got this from Airsoft Extreme for review. It's going to run you $295 on their site. This is a fantastic AEG, really well built. Let's open up the box and see what you get inside. Now when you open up the box, you're going to get your basic AEG setup. You get the gun, a cleaning rod, your barrel cover, a high capacity magazine, your instruction manual, and you'll also get some tools. One of them is used to adjust your front sight, and the other two hex wrenches are used if you want to open up the KWA and get into the gearbox. All right, let's look at this guy a little bit more in depth. All right, starting at the stock, you can see a six position LE stock. Sling mount built into the stock down here, that's metal. You also have a metal sling mount here, and you can see that there are options for both the left and the right side there. Nice feature of this gun is that this thing comes standard with it, already built in. A lot of M4s you get it, you have to take off the stock, put on your sling mount, and then put the stock back on. This one comes standard. Nice addition from KWA. Looking at the center section of this gun, you'll see the high density polymer pistol grip. Very comfortable, very nicely made. Now other than the pistol grip, this whole middle section of the gun is full metal. So you're talking about a full metal magazine, lower receiver, upper receiver, carrying handle, selector switch, trigger, trigger guard, the whole nine yards, full metal. Very sturdy, that's going to be great for you if you're out crawling around in the woods during a skirmish. A little bit more in depth here, this carrying handle can be popped off, you just roll those two knobs and you can take it off. There is a rail underneath if you want to put another kind of optic on, and it is fully adjustable in the back here for windage and elevation. There's your charging handle, we'll talk about that when we get to the other side of the gun. KWA Trade here right on the side. I left the Made in Taiwan sticker on there just so you can see what it looks like when it comes out of the box. One other great feature of this gun is the selector switch. Now pet peeve of mine is when selector switches don't click into place solidly. This one does semi, safe, and auto. Everything clicks in very nicely. So again, KWA did a fantastic job on the externals of this gun. Let's move forward and check out the rest. Of it. Looking at the forward portion of the gun, you can see your metal delta ring your plastic foregrip made of a nice high quality plastic and this thing has very little play it stays in place for you your front metal sight your sling mount here you should note that the sling mount is on the side some guns come with the sling mount on the bottom this one is on the side your metal outer barrel up front and your metal flash hider one thing i really like about this gun is that the internal barrel ends about here some m4s they end it back here so that if you want to make it a commando version you can this one comes with the internal barrel going almost all the way to the end which is nice it's going to give you greater accuracy in the long run i wanted to open up the front foregrip of the kwa m4 to show you a couple things obviously your fuse is right here you can see i have an 8.4 in the bottom part of the foregrip with a little bit of modification, you could fit a standard size 9.6 in there. Your best bet with a 9.6 is to get a nunchuck and use that instead. Or you can put a lipo in here because, again, this thing is lipo ready. One other neat feature of the front end of this gun is the fake gas tube. Now, obviously, a real gas tube is not needed for this gun, but the fake gas tube is full metal and adds great stability to the front end of the gun. Very sturdy, not a lot of wobble, and that tends to be a problem in M16s and M4s. One other thing worth noting up front here is you can actually see on the barrel the KWA M4 has 5.56 NATO engraved in the front end there. Another cool detail and feature of this gun. Flipping your KWA M4 over to the other side you can see your magazine release right here your forward assist button, and even with something as simple as the forward assist button. Now we all know it doesn't do anything practically for your airsoft gun. However, Many M4s, when you press your forward assist in, it gets jammed. You have to kind of tweak it and mess with it to pull it back out. This one goes in and releases very nicely. Just another detail that they didn't cut any corners on. Your charging handle, when you pull it back, will drop your dust cover and will reveal your hop-up, which you can see right here, your standard wheel-style M4 hop-up. I'll talk a little bit about the internals in a second, but again, the details on this gun are just fantastic. I've heard people say that when they compare this to the real M4, it's very hard to tell the two apart. All right, let's talk about the internals of the KWA M4. As you can see, I've opened up the KWA to show you the gearbox. It opens up pretty easily. You take out one hex screw and then pop out a retaining pin, and then you can fold the front end down just a little bit like you see here and get into the gearbox. Now, rather than tear this whole thing apart and give you all the details about the internals of the gearbox, I've put a link here on the video 
check it out. It's a link to the KWA forums, and there is a fantastic review there of the internals of this gun by Carmeister. Let me just give you a couple of the details. The 2G gearbox is thicker than the earlier mech boxes from KWA, so it's more sturdy. It's a reinforced gearbox with six of the 9mm bearings. The gears have reinforced axles. The new piston has reinforced parts. The cylinder has the port moved to the back. And overall, the consensus from people is there were recommendations sent to KWA after their first generations of guns, and they really took all those recommendations and made some awesome, awesome changes to an already great line of guns. They just took them to the next level. The last thing I want to talk about is how the gun works out on the field. With an 8.4 in it, it really has a great rate of fire. With a 9.6, this gun screams. I found with .25s, I'm able to hit a torso-sized target at up to about 130 feet. So it's got great range for such a compact little gun. If you're looking for an M4 and you're willing to spend the $300, you want to invest that much into an M4, this, I think, is your best option out there. The internals are phenomenal. The externals are phenomenal. It's the KWA M4. Again, I got this from Airsoft Extreme for $295. And this wraps up our cardboard box review.